I'm Terry Hine. I live here in Brookings. And in my free time, I like to spend time with my family and our four-year-old granddaughter. My stepdad had taken many, many falls, but he had fallen and ultimately he, five, he shattered five ribs. And one rib was, went into his lung and just sat there. I mean, those hospitalists, I can't believe that like every hospital doesn't have that. I was bummed when I first heard that they were gonna have hospitalists and that, you know, their the regular doctors weren't wouldn't be coming over here. This is such a much better experience. They're here. They're here in the building. Stacy, I've had her before when I've been an inpatient, but she had just just come on duty, I think, and it was probably it was well, it was less than an hour when he passed away and I was holding him, his arm and stuff when it happened. And she was right in there and she was with me the entire time. And I could not, I could not have gone through that without her. And I could not have gone through it probably without the night nurse. She was just as, you know, compassionate too. So yeah, that was the best experience. I could hear this horrific noise and of course it was him bleeding, you know, or breathing or trying to, it was that horrible rattle that just continued, you know. So Bonnie, who knew my, knows my family and I met her that day, she was right there. And because of course, you know, he was unconscious and I, you know, I wasn't expecting that at all. And then that booklet also that you guys have here, I, that she immediately, you know, after like probably about an hour or whatever, she gave that to me. I didn't look at it then, and but I did after, you know, it, we had left the hospital a few days later. I read that and it was, and I only, it was like, I think it's only like seven pages or so. I could only literally get through like the first, like a few paragraphs here and there. And then it was just like, my God, we have been watching this whole process for like three months, just just like that book said. So that is the most phenomenal thing that I could have been given. Even though I didn't read it here, I had that for afterwards. So that answered a lot of my questions too. I knew it was happening. I knew it was going to be happening and I chose to stay. But that says a lot also about how comfortable I felt here in order to go through like one of the biggest fears in my life is being with somebody when they pass away. You know, they can't say for sure, yes, it's going to happen, but we knew. And so they, you know, and my husband and my family kept saying to me, do you, you know, we, you probably want to go home. No. Nope. So my husband and I stayed here all night long and then it happened that early that morning, but I wouldn't, I don't think I could have done it without knowing, I don't know, just the, the whole environment was just amazing. So yeah, I faced one of my biggest fears. So I feel like he gave me a gift, but also this place did too. Are you one of Brookings Health System's grateful patients who would like to give back to us? Learn more about how you can give back at brookingshealth.org slash my thanks.